Okay, I'm going to do a uh, voice coil. I'm not going to call it a repair. So don't do this, right? Don't do this. I'm just going to show you something that I've done on a couple of sets of speakers. And I wanted to see if it would work. And so far it has. So here I have an Altec Lansing woofer. I think you can hear the voice coil rubbing. Right. So, best practice, refoam or recone, right, to address that voice coil rub. But I was thinking a couple of months back that why couldn't you just remove the dust cap and then just reshim it and kind of reshape th um, the voice coil? Right? So I've done this. In fact, the other speaker, I did this to the other speaker. This is not my kind of sloppy handiwork there. <laughs> my sloppy handiwork is very evident on the other one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully cut the cone, or the dust cap, not the cone. Cut the dust cap, and I'm going to leave it one little flap. I'm going to flip this up, and then I'm going to shim it. And then I'm going to let it sit for several hours. And then I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to see if I resolve that voice coil rub. So I'm going to speed through um, cutting the dust cap, and then I'll pick it back up when I'm uh, shimming it. All right, so the dust cap has been cut, and now I can flip it up. Now, one thing that you need to do is clean up all of this residue, or debris. Gosh, it's early. See, it's 7.13. Only one cup of coffee this morning, but I thought I need to get this done today before I start my day. So I like to take some blue tape, make sure I get any crap off of here, any fuzz, because I don't want it to fall down in that gap. And then I'm also going to take a sticky, like so, and pull that down in the coil gap. See if I can pull any crap out of there. This will also help me determine where it's rubbing, and it's right here because it no longer moves. So, and you can see it's pulling some crap out of there or off the top, probably. And again, these are mine. Come, these uh, came out of my Valencias. I have some Altec 846 Valencias. All right. So you can see that was where it's been rubbing. So what I do, and again, don't do this. And if, if this has triggered you to this point because I'm not doing it the way I should do it, just stop watching. <laughs> So I like to use, for these types of repairs, I have some old decks of cards that I use for shims. And what I'll do is I will shim this. Like so in that spot where it was rubbing. So I'll kind of work from the where there's a good gap to where there's a bad gap. And I'll try to get right on the point where I'm feeling the rub. So it's on this side here. 
Oh man, that is tight. So I'm just kind of working the card, the shim, in and out right there. And these are thicker than normal shims, and that's why I'm using them, because I want to kind of re-shape this coil. So I've got those in there, and then I just keep kind of building on the side where the rub is present. And get the card in and just walk it over. Alright, just get the card and walk it over. Get the card in, walk it over. Now the last speaker I did was pretty small, so that's why I've got these little pieces. I probably should have cut some larger ones for this project. But see, I'm already getting some really good spacing now. Sometimes I'll even double up a card. I don't think I'll have to in this case, but I'll put a card on top of another one to kind of increase that gap. Now I've only done this maybe three times, so. All right, so. I cut some thicker pieces here. See how that one went in real easy. And again, I'll just let this sit. Sometimes I'll just kind of pull back gently on the coil. Right? And I'll let this sit for several hours. But what I want to show you is that hopefully, just doing this little bit here, the rub will be will be gone. I've done it before and after just a couple of minutes the coil rub is gone. So let's see if that's the case with this. So cap back on. Let's see. Nope, still got some rub. That was worth a shot. Alright, so I'm going to put these back in. I'm going to shim this, but the cards are going in easier now, so I may have to kind of double up one side. I think I may just use cards like this. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shim this, and I'll let it sit for a little bit, and then a uh, couple hours as a matter of fact, because I've got some stuff i got to do. So I'll shim this, let it sit for a couple hours, we'll come back and see if we get rid of that rub. All right, so <clears throat> I'm actually just doing a check on this. I had another cup of coffee, woke up a little bit. It's been about 15 minutes. I've got cards wedged in there as tight as I can. And again, the coil, this is metal, right, on the inside of the coil. So my thought is if you get enough tension there, enough pressure there, you can actually kind of reshape that. So I'm just doing a check at 15 minutes. I want to see what 15 minutes and a whole bunch of pressure in there did. And these are coming out easy now. So let's see if that did anything. Again, I've been successful doing this, but I can't guarantee I'll be successful this time. still a little bit but not nearly as bad as it was and I don't know for a fact that I'm hitting this straight on and yeah, there's still some rub there if I do that and I just want to look at that gap and see 
see what's going on there. Oh, you know what? It might be rubbing on that side. Maybe I got the wrong side. There's uh, there's scrapes over here on this side. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to reshim it and uh, give it another 15-20 minutes to see what happens. So it's been a few hours and I want to move this. Alright, so a couple of things I've done. I've uh, repositioned these shims a couple of times. And uh, I think I had the original a spot where it was rubbing. I don't think I had it in the right spot, so I've had to uh, move these around a little bit. So, see if that got us anything. And again, if not, I'll just recone it. And no, no rub. Ooh. I think I'm pushing on a crooked. So here's the weird thing about this. This speaker, so I got these Valencias. Um, they're big. Um, maybe I'll, I'll uh, put a picture in here. But these, uh, the Valencias, I've, I've had them in my basement for a month. Originally the left speaker where I have them set up had coil rub, so I pulled the woofer out, did this to that woofer. And uh, this is, this. Woofer was fine for a month, and then it just started rubbing. So, but it is whisper quiet now. So I'm gonna grab some glue. I do wanna run, just to be sure, I wanna run. Just make sure there's no gunk down in the gap here. Oh, 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 there's, oh, there's a little piece right there. I can get that. And there's a little piece right there. Sweetness. All right, so now it's just a matter of me re-gluing this dust cap back in position. And then I'll use something weighted to um, kind of hold that down. All right, so a uh, million videos out there on how to <laughs> glue down a dust cap and refoam speaker, so I'm not going to film that. But anyway, got some coil rub. There's an option. It's one of many. Um, and I, I was talking like I invented this. I, I went to Audio Karma, and uh, this is a trick that people have done quite a bit. So here I was thinking I was slick. But no, this is something that's been done forever. So anyway, I'm going to glue this back in position, let it dry, then put it back in the speaker and put my basement back together. So as always, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.